Hi guys, this is lesson number 17 from our Corel Draw training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to remove uh, background from the image. As you can see here, we have a uh, same image that we used in our previous lesson and uh, how to wrap text around image that is uh, not having any more background. And here we have a power clip image and the text is wrapped with that. So let's get started. I will just uh, move these elements to the side here. Okay. As you can see that here we have image uh, that we use in our previous lesson. You know already now how to import image. Here we have text and this text is my channel text. If you want for practice, I will show you the way how to bring text inside Corel Draw. You can just bring it placeholder text uh, for your practice if you don't want to type. But if you have uh, typed text already in Microsoft Word or in Notepad, you can bring it, you can import in Corel Draw and you can practice on that. But let me show you how to bring the placeholder text in Corel Draw. First of all, we will go to text tool and click and drag to draw a text box here. Okay, uh, we have a text box here and we are going to place text inside. What we need to do, we need to go to the text and here we have option paragraph text frame okay and you need to point to this and come down here insert placeholder text okay you click on it as you can see that Corel Draw automatically fill this text box with the text it is a uh, English Roman but I don't know what language it is but still you can use for practice purpose so this is how we have text now this text is aligned from the left side we need to uh, justify this text from the both side so what we need to do we need to select the text first click inside and uh, control a you can press from the keyboard to select the whole text and come to this option here open it click on full justify once you will click on full justify now you can see that our text is aligned from the both side if i want to add a column in our text still we can do that we can go to the text and you can see that here we have a column okay as many column you want you can add here right now we have only one column you can see that at the top number of columns okay if you want to add more column you can just click on this up and down arrow key to increase and reduce now we have two columns here if i want three i can add this way uh, right now we need only two columns and just click ok this is how we have uh, text in two column this type of text you can see in the magazine in the newspapers and the way we have here uh, picture you can see in the designs so uh, let's uh, try to uh, do that now here one thing more about the column you know we can see the distance between two uh, column if you want that distance to increase or reduce you need to double click in the page to activate the text and uh, once you will see this dotted line in the column just bring the mouse to this and when you get this double headed arrow click and drag back and you can see that now we have uh, more distance more gap in between two columns so again i will just bring the mouse to this dotted red dotted line and bring it back so this is how you can increase and reduce the gap okay so we have text here now we are going to remove the background from the image uh, that we have here but before we will remove the background i want to show you the wrap text option for the object and for the picture for the image once I will click on the pick tool, you can see that once I will click in this flower, the property bar is telling that this is a bitmap, this is a picture. But one thing is common in the shape and image that is this option, wrap text. Okay, you can see that our picture is selected and wrap option is available. Once I will click this rectangular shape, still you can see the text wrap option, it is available for the shape as well. Though we have the different property for this shape, you can see that it is a rectangular shape. So it is showing the rectangular option, but the text wrapping is for both for image and for shape, it is available. So first we need to remove the background from this image. Okay. I will bring it down here and increase the size a little bit. Okay. Zoom it. The way we are going to remove the background, it is okay, but more professional way, if you want to remove the background, you need to learn the Photoshop. In Photoshop, we can remove the background from the image and we can save it as a PSD or PNG and then we can import inside Corel Draw. Uh, in our coming lesson, in the next lesson, we will talk about that. But here, we will just remove the background from the image inside Corel Draw and then we will wrap text around. For this thing, we can use uh, different tools, but I am going to 
take it b subline okay b subline is uh, easy for first time user for beginner but if you have a uh, skill in pen tool you can also do that but b subline is more flexible uh, i want to explain you something about b subline i will click on the b subline and uh, here on the side so if you are going to drive b subline you will click click like this in our previous lesson when we make the coffee mug we already learned about that but i want to show you something else you will click and you can see that it's creating curve wherever you want but what if you want to make it corner okay in some places you need to make it corner also not the way it is round now all the way coming so what you need to do you don't need to double click if i want to make corner here now i will click and after a while i will click again in the same place okay don't double click because once you will double click the b sub line it will be closed okay and uh, you will not be able to make corner so i now if i will go you can see that now this corner it is quite sharp and if i want again here and the same point i will click again okay and then again go and here i want curve like this now here i want again corner so i will click and then again click but don't double click okay click and click so like this you can see that here we have a sharp corner and uh, around all our uh, b sub line is smooth and curve this thing uh, why i explain you because when we are going to select this we need that technique and delete this here let's go to the flower now and we can start our selection zoom it and let's start from this point here okay now you can see that if i will just draw this way what we can do when you are going to draw keep your mouse pointer little bit inside the flower so you will not take the background okay so you can take some pink part and then click carefully like this okay now i need corner here so i click and click like this i am just uh, roughly i am going to draw here we need corner so i will click again see that this uh, b sub line itself it is getting smooth i will click here and again click twice i will click because i need corner there here we have little bit again corner so i will click close here we really need to click uh, two time just like this wherever the corner is coming and uh, you feel that you need to make it little bit sharp the corner two time click and then go ahead we don't need to take uh, too much uh, the area of the picture but still you can keep your mouse inside press the mouse wheel so you can just go around press the mouse wheel and if you want to zoom in and out scroll the mouse wheel it's almost done i click twice because there was corner again we have corner a little bit here so i will go this way and this place also because there is a branch click again click i think it's enough now here i really need the corner so i will click again click and go click again click i want to just continue twice click b subline is a nice tool you can use to remove the background from the image again click twice i am clicking here because it's a quite sharp we need and it is almost done so you can see that now uh, we draw this path around this uh, flower and uh, this path the technique the trick is in this path because this is a shape we will clip this flower inside okay so if i will show you here now if i will select this you can see that this is the path that we created and it is a closed shape so this flower can be nicely clip inside so let's do it control z undo to bring it back uh, we need what we need to do we need to select the image first okay so click on the image and uh, go to object power clip place inside frame and click inside this uh, shape area now you can see that the flower clipped inside and around 
all the area it's hidden now so it's this way we remove the background successfully by using B subline now the problem is we have a black line around that this black line we can uh, remove we can right click here and it will go but before we will do something I want to show you if I will click it it's okay we can move it now it is clip but if uh, you will press alt key and click now the content inside is selected if I will move you need to be careful now look at this the flower is moved inside our shape so this thing you need to be careful Control Z to go back and click outside so what we need to do now we need to uh, remove the outline so right click here we need to bring it here in our text this flower design okay we can increase the size from the corner so this is how we have uh, flower and two column text while it is selected click on text wrap option here and go to straddle text once you will click on straddle text you can see that text is wrapped around the flower and wherever I will move this flower here now look at this automatically coral dries adjusting the text around this flower look at this and if I want I can increase and reduce the gap the distance uh, between flower and the text how to do that we'll go back again here click here and you can see that at the bottom we have distance here okay so now it is a point uh, 254 if I want a little bit more I can make point 3 and click outside in your page okay so you can see that the gap it's increased so it's really up to you how you want to manage and this thing you know already how to uh, flower inside the power clip this is the same way that we have done previously uh, and uh, also if you want to wrap text around that it is the same trick if you want you need to go here and you need to apply this option straddle text so you can see that the text is around this uh, power clip frame as well successfully we remove the background and we wrap the text around so that's all guys uh, this is very handy and nice uh, trick hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice this guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you